everyone, it's Tens and Relics from C9, and today we're going to be giving you tips for ranking up in Duo Queue. Although the rank system in Valorant could definitely use some work, we can all agree that bringing a friend along makes matches a lot easier. Today we'll be talking about how to use Omen and Phoenix together efficiently in ranked. Alright, so I'm Omen, you're Phoenix, who else would we want on the team? I think since we already have one duelist and one controller, we could actually get two sentinels and one other controller to have double controller set up, or we could also just rock three sentinels like Sova, Cypher, Sage. Yeah, Sage, Sova, Cypher is like the holy trinity. I think yeah. you could run a second uh, smoke character, so you could replace one of them with Brimstone if you wanted to have like yeah. uh, more smokes for more control. Um, you could do something like Omen could smoke both sides of sight while Phoenix is coming up, and then Phoenix would flash the entry onto the site. Like he could flash here from Garden, and then Omen could also paranoia and continue like sending uh, Phoenix in. So basically, like he sets him up with the smokes, and then Phoenix would flash to entry. And since Omen has a paranoia that can go through walls, he can be like a secondary flasher for the Phoenix, which just like allows the Phoenix to continue moving up onto site. So since Skylar is playing Omen for me, uh, he's actually able to smoke the top of Hookah, and as Phoenix I can get really aggressive and get inside the smokes, and just like flash out and try to entry and get some kills. And obviously like, when we were, if we were actually doing something like this, uh, Omen being a controller, I can throw the smoke to get us space into Hookah, and then I can throw like a second one backhaul or something uh, at elbow, so when he actually flashes out and he's hitting the site, he has less angles to worry about. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to take it up like another layer just like long i could be paranoiding a line so like let's say he's gonna like he'd be flashing out the smoke and walling and going to the left i could paranoia all of ct spawn and the cubby here so everything is blind and he jumps out and he has to fight either garden or here and like those are the only two areas that he needs to worry about coming out of hookah so let's say you've taken this site with your team which means you've been able to save some of your abilities because you know you had your team helping you out and then you get the spike down and now you'd be playing um post plant uh, trying to get into good positions and, you know, play the bomb. Uh, something you can do with Phoenix and Omen is, since they both have a set of flashes, you guys can play off of contact and just have Phoenix flash once when they tap the bomb, or whenever you feel like there's a timing, tap the spike, timing to peek, and you can double peek on the flash. Next time they tap the spike, Omen get paranoia through the wall, and then you guys can double peek and do the same thing. A lot of the time it's hard to peek the uh, spike when you have a lot of angles to fight, so you can throw a smoke like this is Omen, Phoenix could walk into the smoke and then he could flash out the smoke and you guys could double peek or he could molly through the smoke and onto the spike like that. So it gives you extra cover to be able to go uh, contest the post plant together. So if we were wanting to come up short A as two um, to fight the defenders on the site, you know, you could throw some omen smokes like this and give yourself cover. Um, it would require both of your smokes, obviously. But instead, you could use Phoenix's wall and save your omen smokes for something like heaven and ct so let's say we were going to use his wall instead we would we group here together short a you know we would obviously peek this and clear it i'd get ready to smoke for him and then he would start off the uh the hit with his wall so he would wall off site he would be running up i'd come into the cubby and i'd paranoia all of u-haul and it allows him to push in even if he wanted to like he could he has a second flash there he can go more aggressive for another kill i can re-smoke spawn so if we're going out through showers since skylar has two smokes can actually smoke the left side of sight and the right side of sight and with my phoenix wall i can actually wall off the left to cut off the u-haul angle and i can push up really aggressive into the right smoke and just flash through and clear the back of sight a lot of things that omens will or a typical play omens will do is you can go inside a smoke to tp somewhere else and so if we do something like this and he's going to be aggressively pushing through the smoke as phoenix with his flash I can follow him up into the smoke and then I can TP into heaven to get a better vantage point to stop early rotates as we wrap through the back of sight and clear it for our team. So since we're playing an Omen and Phoenix at B, we would want to play aggressive for the most part. So for an example, we can smoke the bottom of B and we can group up in it. And since I have my flash, we can actually flash out and peek the angle. And if we see someone, we can fight them, fall back, or if we don't see anything, we can keep pushing. It really depends on what we want to do. But obviously you don't want to like play just aggressive or, or just passive. You want to be able to mix it up on your defense and keep the other team guessing. So on timing or like if the Phoenix hears someone, he can flash and peek long B. 
and he can straight up take the fight, but if he flashes and sees multiple enemies, he can fall back, and then Omen can paranoia long, and he can reswing with the paranoia. You have one person flashing, and then the other person with like a backup flash, basically, to bail the person out. So since Omen and Phoenix both have flashes, we can actually use our flashes at the same time. So Omen can flash to the right of Market, and I could just throw a flash out Hookah, and my flash will bind anybody on the left. The Omen flash will blind anybody on the right, and I'm able to peek up, and the two flashes kind of cover their weaknesses, where the Omen flash would only blind the right side, and my flashes would only blind people looking at it. Uh, another example of a more passive setup we could do is you would have Phoenix go sit on the close hookah wall with his flash out. You'd be sitting back here with an op, and so you'd be holding the angle with the operator, and if you take contact or if you miss a shot, the Phoenix would basically immediately flash. So obviously there's some trust involved here because a lot of the time the Phoenix might sit with his flash out so he can insta-do it. Sometimes he might have gun out, but if someone swings wide and you miss the shot, your teammate might be dead. Let's say I miss the shot, so here, peek, and then I miss. The Phoenix would then immediately flash and we'll be able to, to get the kill on the fallback. So you can mix it up. There's all sorts of different setups you can hold. You can play aggressive, you can play passive, but both of their ability kits just kind of give you a lot of freedom. Yeah, so I would say that A site is a little more straightforward than B. Um, you know, the, the two entrances onto the site are short A and showers. And normally you choose one to really focus on and, and fight for control. And let's say you had a Phoenix playing close at the box there and I would be holding the smoke and he could be playing close and then you know if I make contact or if they start smoking me here like if I got smoked off and I could no longer see I could also just paranoia the whole line like I can still support him up close even when I'm uh, I lose vision or I'm smoked off I can paranoia he can wait a second he can flash we can do it the other way around he could flash first to spot where they are which then allows me line up oh oh they're you know they're far back on the right then I could paranoia that side you know showers is a little different I mean you, you normally don't play inside showers that long on defense you you would contest the orb early and get out but you can do the same type of stuff we did on Long B, where I guess I can I can smoke like this early as Omen, and then you know we could kind of wait for the spam. We could both get in the smoke, and if we wanted to do something like a little unorthodox and go aggressive, he could flash out the smoke as Phoenix, and then we could come double clear outside showers. Um, having a character with regenerable smokes just allows you to basically get a lot more space than you would normally be able to. The smoke also allows you to always have two people peeking on a Phoenix Slash. You can always have two people going through the smoke, so you're there to trade your teammate if he uh, loses the fight. Hello everyone, thanks for watching our duo Q guide. Just be mindful that you should always be mixing up your gameplay and be unexpected in what you do. Don't just keep playing the same way constantly. Make sure you subscribe to the C9 Valorant channel and let us know in the comments below if there's any other guides you want to see.